In this video, we're going to dive into beingness, which is the only way you can do the things you want to do and have the results you want to have. But what is beingness? Beingness is essentially what you are being and the identity you are in a given moment. And you've probably heard the quote, to get what you've never had, you have to do what you've never done. But as you're about to learn to do what you've never done, you're going to need to be what you haven't been. And I understand this is very big picture and very philosophical. And fun fact, one of my all time favorite nicknames is The Philosopher. However, I just wanna make sure that you know, we will dive into some very practical, straightforward, strategic sales skills that people are using right now to become millionaires and beyond later in this course, including three strategies that come from this book that was banned for being too powerful for humanity. With that said, this is by far and away the number one area I see preventing people from achieving the success and the results in any area of their life that they're not getting the results that they want. So now let's break down beingness and how you can be what you want to be to create the results you want to have. So beingness, once again, is essentially what you are being and essentially the identity that you are in a given moment. And a lot of people don't even know that you can change your identity. Every single rags to riches story has done this. Now, the word beingness and the study of beingness was very popular all the way back into ancient Greece. At this time, ancient Greece was the powerhouse and the most influential and wealthiest country in the world. And to this day, the most prestigious colleges, aka schools in the world, have those columns that look like Rome and Greece in honor of the first university that was started back in Greece by Aristotle. And in this university, they had eight areas of study, including language and mathematics, but two areas are more powerful than anything taught in school today. One of those areas was mnemonics, which is the ability to learn, focus, and remember. And stuff that these Greek philosophers were teaching thousands of years ago is more powerful than anything I see in school today, which is enough reason for me to feel that school isn't even designed to empower people anymore. It's really designed to make people behave and really just act in line to the people who are really, you know, deciding what's being taught. Anyways, when it comes to being successful, this right here is the beginning of learning the things you wish you learned in school. And the study of beingness declares that what you are being determines every single thing that you do and is the number one cause that you have an effect over for every result and effect that you create in your life. And the Greeks simply describe this as be, do, have. You must be something first to do actions in alignment and then that creates the results that you have. And I wanna make sure y'all know nobody is born successful. Everyone became what they are. They had to be it first and become that identity first. Then if someone decided they wanted to be a musician, an athlete, a high level business professional, then they all took actions in alignment with that to make it happen. So last week I hopped on a Zoom with the second person to join this program who got a position in his first few days. And then within a couple of weeks, we allowed him to start closing a lower ticket package, even though he was only on the second training of the closer trainings. And on this Zoom, I was just going over one of his recordings to figure out what would help him most to succeed and start closing the deals because after his first few calls, he didn't close a deal yet. And less than a minute into the call, I told him to pause the recording. And we spent almost the majority, almost the entire rest of the hour talking about beingness and some basic communication. And next thing you know, just by changing his beingness and quick communication tip, he closed the next deal he was on. And then this week, by Monday, his first day taking calls, by the way, he's only taking about a few calls a day. Also made double he was making at his day job in one day just by changing his beingness and tuning up his communication. And 
even though he's a full-time student and only doing this part-time, he already has plans to leave that day job and really crank things up to the next level. And I was planning on putting this being this section into a later part of the program, but the first two students to join the program were pretty much begging me and just enthusiastically saying, people need this. Like, you need to put this at the beginning. People need to hear this. And one of the main things we covered was the number one thing that stops people from being the way they want to be, which is some people have this thing in their mind that it's inauthentic to be something new and it's inauthentic to change their identity. And an example that everyone here has witnessed, let's just say someone's shy, right? Someone is not used to standing up to themselves, to asserting themselves and going after the things they truly want, right? They usually just keep to themselves and be quiet and think to themselves, I wish I was confident. I wish I could do this. I wish, right? Then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, whatever circumstance, situation, they get a boost of confidence and they stand up for themselves and they assert themselves and go after what they truly want. Then all of a sudden, when their emotions calm down or whatever, they have a wave of just confusion asking themselves, what just happened? This isn't me. Who am I? Right? And this stems from this philosophy a lot of people have without even knowing it is that they are a certain way because that's the way they've been. And it's not them or it's inauthentic to be something that they haven't always been. But the truth is anyone can be confident and anyone can be successful. And as cheesy as it sounds, you can be what you want to be. Everyone who rose to a higher level of success and a higher quality of life had to change. Once again, nobody was born a successful musician, a successful athlete, a successful business professional. Every single person had to be something new and make changes to get there. And in my opinion, it is way more authentic to make those changes to what you're being and your identity if you authentically want to be and have new things in your life. So tying it back to high ticket closing, what do you need to be to be a successful business professional? Well, some of the traits that absolutely make a huge difference are being confident, professional, and motivated. So confidence comes from learning what you need to know to be successful, AKA knowing how to get the results you want to get and then doing it over and over again. If you think of any skill that you have learned, whether it's music, dancing, sports, or business skills, building a house, anything, you first had to know how to get the results you wanted to get, and then the more you did it, the more confidence you had in that area. Same thing applies to all the communication skills, sales skills, and pretty much any skill you learn. Now, being professional, includes knowing your offer really well and being able to deeply understand your client, their situation, their goals, the problems they're trying to solve, and then to effectively and efficiently get them to understand how your product or services, AKA whatever you're selling, can help them do the things they wanna do or get the results they want to have. And motivation is essentially the things that cause you to do the things you do. And we dive deep into what exactly causes you to do everything that you do two videos from now. But before we get there, I just want to say this quote, 80% of success is showing up. I don't know anyone who continually shows up that did not grow and multiply their income, their awareness, and their abilities. So in the meantime, as long as you show up, you will be moving forward, you will be making progress. But if you cling to an old identity just because that's who I am, that's the way I've always been, then you will continue to get the same results you've been getting. If you want any new results in your life, don't let that thought hold you back. With that, in the next training, we're getting into the second biggest area that I see that blocks people's success or slows it down dramatically. And this 
is their mind. And the solution to clear what is blocking your mind and blocking your results and causing you to hold yourself back and slow yourself down is so simple, you're gonna be shocked that you haven't learned it sooner.